Guys, uh, the reason I haven't been making any power yet on the dyno, the reason you haven't gotten to see me doing any testing yet, is the thing ain't making no power. Uh, we didn't know why and uh, kind of forgot about this situation. Uh, it's got a nitrous cam in it still. Uh, even though I've rebuilt the last couple motors you know, using the same cam, I just never really thought about the overlap and the issues it will create. I mean, the motor makes some really, really good power on motor, but as soon as it boost, you know, we start having issues. Uh, the more boost we put into it, it does not make any more power. Uh, we have hit a wall at just a little over 500 horse, and it doesn't matter how much we put through it, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, so order a new cam, and you know, while I still have the truck down here at my work, I'll be able to work on it between other cars. Uh, so I should be able to get this four down today, have it set and wait for when the cam shows up. Hopefully Wednesday. Uh, it's Monday right now. Uh, if it doesn't show up Wednesday, you know, eventually, Sunday this week, we'll get this thing back together. Uh, then, if all, if all works out Friday or Saturday this week, I'll have it on the dyno. So you all may get two videos this week. Uh, you want to show you the cam swap and, and pull this thing apart. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. I'll, uh, I'll put you on a time lapse while I do that. Uh, you know, I've got this front end built that it's not hard to work on. There's a couple of screws here. The front end comes off. A couple of bolts. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, I will put you on time lapse for that because I know y'all don't want to drag this out too long. Uh, we'll, we'll show you the rockers I use. We'll show you some of the stuff I have in this motor. And it's not the best of the best. I mean, I promise you it's not. Uh, a lot of people probably think that, but it's not. This is built with a guy's budget that's working out of the tire store. So it can't be much, right? But uh, let's get to it. A lot of you guys probably noticed the uh, the bumper and what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on I don't have the pins in it but I drilled that and those I don't know if it'll focus but so I can put a quick pin in it I just uh, done some really crappy actually I don't even look at that <laughs> but uh, I've done some crappy fiberglass work. Hold those in. They do have a, a single bolt to the front of each. But they just slide down in these little receiver grooves. And uh, I do have a pin for those when I am racing. The intercooler just sits on these little dowels. And uh, just only has two bolts up top. You know, the front of this truck doesn't weigh much. You know, the core support anyways. So what I need to do the time I'm waiting on the, the coolant to drain, I want to mark my my wiring here so it's easy to put back together. And we'll get all these rockers off of it. We'll start turning this front end apart. But these are straight off of eBay. I mean, they're nothing special. 3 eighths. You know, it does say 350 for for small block Chevy. Let's see if I can get the yep. 1.6 ratio. These are the, I guess, the better of the eBay ones. They do have a large dual hole and they will sling oil everywhere. That is when they're pumped up, when the lifters are pumped up. These are the same valve springs that I bought off of a guy down in Moorhead. He claimed that they hadn't had much runtime at all on them, so we're just going to trust them on that. And, uh, a lot of people are going to get a, a major kick out of this. This is the reason I actually went and bark or went got the marker. Huh? What the hell? What is that? Let's see if we can get a. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's get this in a little better. So, yeah, we'll mark out that name number two. You know, we don't want nobody to know that I actually paid this guy anything. I, mean, I would hate to, I would hate to have that happen. Well, uh, now that I've rebuilt the carburetor myself, uh, it works. So, I'm gonna get this front end all tore apart, get this radiator out of it once the coolant drains, and we'll get back to it. fastest way I can. So what we've got going on here is I've got a, uh, let me get this in here. I do have an adjustable gear here, but I'll leave everything zeroed out. That's just as close as I can get it right now, but we'll get this cam out of here in a minute. and We'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you the cam number on it, if it still has it on it or whatever, I'm not for sure. But uh, I still use the, the factory Vortec dog bones and uh, these are actually, if I can get one out here, I just do a pull with my hand. These are bone stock ALS lifters. Hydraulic roller, like out of your ALS one, five, three, four, eight, six, zero. Oh, uh, in the Vortec box, you can use these. And I mean, if they're good enough for a couple of my buddies to make 12, 13, 1400 horse, you know, there's good enough for me, so. I'll get all these sitting out, I'll lay them in here, then we'll pull this cam and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. So something I almost forgot to show people out there, uh, Vortec box, you know, they, if you're not used to them, they have uh, some bolt holes here and they have a retainer plate that actually sits in between the gear and it'll actually hold the cam in place so there's no button to deal with, you know, nothing like that. So we pull this thing out and then we'll let you look at the numbers on it. Here's the numbers. O eight three O three dash eight comp cam. This is a this is a nitrous cam. This thing's actually done me well, but for this turbo stuff, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to go to a NA cam. We want to see how that life works for us. There's a couple little marks, but nothing nothing to worry about. Nothing to cry home about. So as promised, Cam showed up on Wednesday, a day off, I'm down here today. We'll throw this thing in, here's the specs. It's a uh, Comp 280 HR, uh, NA cam, it's a baby NA cam. So we'll load this thing up, we're gonna throw it in there and throw you on the timeline. Doing this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Why 
Sometimes there's. Oh man, are you videoing? Yeah. <laughs> we still haven't get nice. You let me get the silicone like this, and I'll wait. Give me another. Here, don't run through. Here. Oh yeah. Courtesy, Mr. Tucker. Courtesy. Shut that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, get it back towards me. degrees in the shop it's not hot but it's not cold uh, it is on the 85 so it may not start that easy uh, but like I said this is a, a baby cam it's a 280 HR comp hydraulic roller it, it's nothing big so it's not going to sound big uh, but it does run it is back together I'm going to fire it up and let you all hear it and uh, the next time you see this truck it will be on the dyno pray for me that it makes some power. See you next time. 